Honestly, the reason to smoke a brand like Cookies is so that you can say you're smoking a brand like Cookies. There's been a lot of talk about big cannabis brands venturing into new states now that it's slowly becoming legal throughout the United States. Some people are super stoked to see recognizable and popular brands in their home states. But then there's a lot of people that think that these companies cannot operate the same quality from state to state like they do in the one that they originated in. When you go to a Chick-fil-A in any state and order a chicken sandwich, it's gonna taste exactly the same every single time. However, when cannabis brands try to venture into different states, the quality often varies significantly. It's just a little bit trickier for them to keep up the same quality in between all the licensing the state to state and federal laws it is just a little bit more complex for them versus a chick-fil-a but a lot of super popular brands like cookies have been venturing into my home state pennsylvania and they're venturing into a lot of other states as well i know they're in new york now they're in florida i've tried them in colorado and vegas before so they're all over the map at this point but do they keep up to that california cookie standard in pennsylvania i'll be the judge of that overall i do have mixed opinions about the cookies brand. I don't love them. I don't hate them either, but I'm going to be as unbiased as I possibly can in this video. They've been in Pennsylvania for at least a month now, and I just have not been in a rush to try it, but I figured that today I was going to pick it up and be the judge of how the quality really is. Because who knows? It could be fire. It could be even better than the California quality. But when it comes to a brand like Cookies or Jungle Boys or 710 Labs, they consider themselves like premium brand quality products. So when I see them venture into a different state, I do have a little bit of a higher expectation than I do another random grower. But I am a little wary because I know for a fact that Pennsylvania Cookies is being grown by a company called Kind Tree, and you probably haven't even seen Kind Tree on this channel because I just genuinely dislike them so much. I just wish they didn't exist. There's no personal beef. I know nobody who works for or owns that company. However, they just constantly produce the lowest quality products in my state and it just drives me up a wall because I feel like it gives all the other companies like a little bit of slack. So they're like, at least we're not kind tree. However, now that Cookies has a deal with them, maybe Cookies put in a couple different employees in there and now they know how to grow some good weed. But let's get this jar cracked open. It's that beautiful Cookies Blue. It's a nice little tamper seal there, I guess. But let's see what we're hitting for. Okay, smells pretty good. Comes in a nice glass jar. That's what a peek of the inside of the jar looks like. Then we got a pretty good nose to it. The strain, by the way, is Georgia Pie, I think. I thought it was Georgia Pie, but when I got to the dispensary, the dude said it was Georgia Peaches. So I'm not sure, it's either Georgia Pie or Georgia Peaches. What's annoying about my state that they've recently implemented is whenever something sounds kind of like too foody or too recreational, they abbreviate it. So I don't know if it's Georgia Pie or Georgia Peaches, but definitely Georgia P, that's for sure. It's testing about 22% THC. Total terpenes is a little over 2%. The top three being caryophylline, limonene, and linalol. I'm not gonna say this stuff's anything crazy off of first impressions. Looks all right, doesn't look horrible, but isn't trim the best and definitely have seen better weed in the program. The buds are super dense, and they're definitely caked in trichomes. Like, this isn't bad weed by any sense of the definition, but I'm being as picky as I possibly can be. Mmm. Good nose to it when you crack into it, that's for sure. Hear that? These are some rocks. But the looks and the lab results only mean so much. There's one really important test that I need to do, and that's called consumption. The weed ground up a little dry, it definitely uh, could have been cured a little bit better. All right, time to see how this Georgia pea tastes. Ooh, wow. Mmm. That's tasty. I'm pleasantly surprised by that flavor. It might be Georgia peach, it's a little peachy. It definitely has more of an earthy smell, but that citrusy flavor really comes through when you hit it. By the way, if you wanna get a water pipe like this or a new ash catcher, or basically anything you'd find at your local head shop, you can get it on my online head shop, popcorn.com. That's my own online head shop, you guys. And supporting that website really helps me out. And the holidays are around the corner, you guys, and I'm adding new stuff every single day, so make sure you check it out if you're looking to get a stoner or just treat yourself for the holidays, you guys. You've been working hard, you deserve it too. But I cannot say that this flower is bad by any means. This is pretty decent. However, I'm not going to say it's the best flower I've ever had in the state either. Honestly, the reason to smoke a brand like Cookies is so that you can say you're smoking a brand like Cookies. It's just kind of like a status symbol for stoners. It doesn't mean you have the best of the best stuff. It doesn't mean you're better or worse than anyone. It doesn't mean you're a super custy either. It just means you're smoking cookies. There's a certain lifestyle that cookies markets towards, and if you're about that lifestyle, cookies is a great brand to represent that lifestyle. 
It's also nice to have a brand like Cookies for the like super ignorant stoner who just doesn't know anything about weed and checks out a dispensary and sees that there's like 200 plus strains of flour on the menu and doesn't even know where to begin. It's nice to just be like, okay, I know Cookies is a popular brand, let me get some of that. It'll at least be decent, probably. But some people think that since it's such a popular brand and they call it premium flour, it needs to be the best of the best weed every single time. And you know, that's just not feasible. Especially when you're mass producing cannabis, it's hard to make it the best of the best weed every single time. You can make it decent, you can make it good, but there's a lot of good weed out there. It's just, in reality, vast majority of the companies out there cannot mass produce the same quality cannabis, let alone high quality cannabis. Like, I kind of feel like they consider themselves designer weed, and it's just like Louis Vuitton or Gucci or something. It's just like, priced more than what it should be probably for what it is, but there's just a status symbol that goes along with it. But if you were hoping I was gonna come on here and just say that this cookies is absolute trash, I hate to disappoint you, I really can't. I'm about to smoke another bowl of it. The flavor on this shit is just superb. Now I still think they need to work on their quality and overall consistency from state to state because now I've had cookies from four different states and the quality has just been all over the place. But if it like lived up to the hype of California cookies, I'm gonna say no. But if it like lived up to the hype of just like corporate cookies, we'll call it, yeah, kinda. It was way better than the stuff from Vegas and it was definitely on par a little bit worse, but on par with the stuff from Colorado. I'm only judging one strain now. I wish I could have grabbed a couple more and judged multiple, but I could literally just find this one, so that means it's at least moving, at least. But I'm definitely super stoned right now. I don't feel slumped though, I feel like super uplifted, like this is a nice solid high. Overall, I can't hate on this cookies drop, but always be wary if you're trying a familiar company or a familiar strain in a different state. It does not mean it's going to be the same quality of the stuff in your state. It might be better, it might be worse. It's just from state to state, it's really hard for these companies to keep the consistency. But that's gonna be the end of the video, you guys. Make sure you click like on this video if you enjoyed it, it really helps me out. Leave a comment, let me know if there's any other products you want me to check out. I hear KK, Khalifa Kush is around the corner in PA, so I can do another video on that if you'd like. And don't forget to subscribe, I got a bunch of videos on the way. And don't forget to check out popcorn.com, you guys. It really helps me out. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. It really means the world to me. But that's the end of the video, you guys. My name is Jeff. Peace.